Now, I have made this special to do before. Now, if you don't know what HelloFresh is, it's a subscription box service you can get where you get your ingredients and it gets delivered to your house and you get the recipes and you, you can then make up the recipe yourself at home. It's that, that easy. If you're in the United States and would like $40 off, then there's a link in my bio, which I'm going to put into the chat box right now. So you need to copy that link. Let me just pop this in. So it's there. Ignore the cooking part where it says link TR. That's the link slash Aiden Leeds. And in there, you can get $40 off in the United States. If you want £20 off, you can. There is also a link in there for £20 off. So you can get three meals for £9.99. As I say, all the link details are in that link. So I usually have it on top of my head, but never mind. So this is a recipe I've done before. Um, I've actually gone and got the ingredients this time to make this. So we're going to do this again. So if you don't know what a sloppy joe is, it's basically ciabatta bread. Well, as far as I'm aware, ciabatta bread and it's, you've got in here, you've got beef mince, a carrot. You've got some Central American spice, but I'm going to be using a sort of Cajun seasoning uh, or caution, as you might say. Um, what else have we got in here? This is like a Louisiana spice. I'm not going to use too much of that because otherwise it'll be too spicy. Uh, we're going to use some chopped tomatoes. So some chopped tomatoes here. We have got some ketchup. I'm going to use Heinz, although there are other brands you can use. Okay. Uh, we're going to get some cheese from the fridge. I've not taken out yet. So we'll be having some cheese with this as well. Now, I had a ciabatta bread. Ciabatta, sorry, that I baked up in the oven. Now, that because it's actually been baked, we're actually going to be grilling these on in the in the grill. So um, that they're already chopped up, cut up into little nice squares. Okay, to make. So as I say, it depends on it might if you make about two, it depends on how big you make them really. Okay, uh, and then you're going to need uh, the most important thing because we're doing guacamole. So we're going to you need an avocado. That's a good avocado, and then finally a lime which will be squeezed, I'm guessing, over, in, sorry, into making the guacamole. So uh, let me just check I am on, which I believe I am. So I'm just going to put a look there. I've put the, I've put the link tree in, fantastic. Um, so we're going to make the start then. So as I say, if you want to get your £20 off, so three meals for £9.99, go on to the link tree and you can get, just remember it's a subscription service, so don't don't think that it's just a one-off. You'll have to go and cancel that if you do. Um and $40 off in the US, but be sure to click on the correct link in the link tree. Um, so we're going to make a start then. So first things first, uh, we need to heat a large frying pan over a medium heat. Yes, because we're going to be doing the mince. Now I'm going to put this lid into the sink. It's the best place for me. And um, let, me, let me switch this on. So we're going to heat up the pan. Don't want it on too high. Okay, um, hopefully you've all been notified. I can't see any messages coming through, but he did this earlier on. So let me just double, I'm just going to move the camera slightly. There we go. Hello, Dina. Messages are coming through now. Whoops. <laughs> so I'm going to put you there. Okay, so uh, yeah, we're doing this one then tonight. Sloppy Joes. Hopefully the connection's okay. Um, have I got anything else to tell you? Don't forget, tomorrow I'm going to be making chicken we're going to be doing chicken tomorrow uh we're also going to be doing japanese seared steak on thursday i'm getting confused with the with the days this week yeah on thursday that's a simply cooked recipe and then on friday we have the quiz which is another thing that i like to do if you're watching me and you're new to haps um then be sure to download HAPS. You can get it from your app store, HAPS.TV. You can uh, sign up with the code, so HAPS.TV forward slash invite forward slash Aiden Leeds. So if you're watching me on YouTube or Twitter or Periscope, then because Periscope's finishing, come on to HAPS and you get free coins as well for signing up with that link. OK, so I think the link's in my link tree. So again, everything's in there. Go on to that and you can find everything that I talk about on my on my um, live streams. So Dina says, have I been good? I've been really good. Yes, I had a really good day, actually. Just waiting for this pan to heat up. So I went for a coffee and then 
did a bit of shopping this afternoon, which was nice, uh, just for a few like essential things. And um, yeah, sort of planning the rest of the week, really. So that's pretty much what I've been doing. So let me know how the connection is. Is it good? I do have someone that's coming. I can't see their name. It just says name. And I don't know who it is. And I don't want to move the camera too much. Let me just, because the pan is heating up. Bear with me just a second. Can anybody else see that in the chat? It says name. And then there's a little star. I don't know. Whether, I don't know if that's an issue or not, or very strange <laughs> if you are name let me know okay so i'm going to um i'm going to bring the camera down so you can see the pan okay and i need to catch it check the connection check it's okay move it around a little bit i'm just going to give it a few seconds just to let it connect now i had it in this place earlier this morning and it was really good so fingers crossed once this heats up. Okay, don't need to bring it. Okay, it says good. I don't want to touch it <laughs> just yet. Okay, that says great. Fantastic. So first thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to heat a large frying pan. I'm going to add a little bit of oil. There we go. Okay, I can't see any comments. I don't know. It's probably an issue with the comments. There's, I think there's been a few, few issues with the app, and that's probably because there's new people coming in onto the app, and therefore they need to, TAPS team need to look into these updates for the amount of traffic, maybe. And I think maybe because they're going live, there's new people coming in. It's taking up too much bandwidth on their servers, and maybe that's the reason why. I don't know. But we're going to carry on anyway, and fingers crossed things are okay. So we're going to, so we're heating the large frying pan over high heat with a bit of oil and then we're going to add in the mince. So I'm using British lean steak mince, as you can see here. Okay, I'm sure if there was a problem, Dina would message me to say so. But I think we're good and the numbers are going up, which is fantastic. So let me get this mince open. Now it says you need 240 grams of mince. Now I've got here... 500 grams so i don't actually i'm gonna only use half so it is actually split into two anyway which is good so i'm only going to use 250 grams i think i did that last time so let me just get a knife and we'll put into this beef let me uh, try and show you two things at once but we're going to get half of this mince. You want, as I say, 240 grams. And then this is going to go in. You're going to break it up into the pan. Okay, a little bit more. So you don't want loads. Okay, and then the rest is going to go in the fridge. Okay. It really frustrates me when I can't see the comments, but hopefully you can see the pan because and we are okay. I'm not going to touch it too much, so we're just going to get a so we don't be sloppy joes if you're wondering. Did I mention that? <laughs> just going to break this up as I say, I want 240 grams of beef mince. is warming up just going to break it up in the pan maybe i don't have the best connection let me just move this again see if any comments come through one second just give me a thumbs up if you can hear me guys That would be a good place, wouldn't it, to put it? <laughs> yeah, I don't know who that name is. That's weird. Anyway, it's getting hot now, so just need it to stay in that. I think that's all right. That position's okay. We'll, we'll hopefully it won't go off. Maybe a little bit higher. 
How is that, guys? Can you all see? Hello, hello, Blaine. How are you doing? So we're doing beef sloppy joes tonight. Yeah, but it might be slightly different to the American way. I'm not too sure. So we're using the beef mince. We're going to be using tomato sauce or ketchup. We've got some American spice. But I'm using Cajun. Oh, is it Cajun or Cajun? Uh, chopped tomatoes, carrots, cheddar cheese. We're doing it on ciabatta. And then we're going to make some guacamole there. I love a bit of guacamole. So hopefully this is <laughs> this is okay. I'll just show you the picture. There you go. And it's HelloFresh as well. So if you want to get the discount for HelloFresh, there's a link tree. There's also a discount for the US as well, which is, I think it's Alexis's code. So I like to, um, there's no point me doing HelloFresh and not, and then having American viewers and not being able to say about it. So Alexis's code's on my link tree. And I think Alexis has my UK code on hers, I think. So we do it like that for viewers. So thank you, um, Blaine, for the high award. Can you all see okay? Is that okay? Now, I'm not one of these people that's, a, I don't have another device to be able to do the two camera thing. And it's not really why I started doing cooking on here. It was, it was just because I was bored, pretty much. But um, it might be something I'll do in the future. But as I said, I don't have another device. And oh, the software doesn't even work on my laptop at the moment. So so anyway, let's crack on with this. So this is the mince. We're gonna, so we're going to break it up for three to four minutes with a wooden spoon, which we've done. And then we're gonna we're gonna meanwhile trim and coarsely create the carrot. So we've got two carrots here. I'm gonna chop off the ends. Nobody likes the ends, do they? It says keep the skins on, but we are gonna grate it up. So let me get a grater. Um, Blaine, are you doing the dessert challenge? I think I'm gonna be doing a rhubarb crumble cake on the 10th of April. That's when we're all going to be doing a full day, guys, of desserts. So we're just coarsely grating the carrot. Don't need to peel this. And it says one carrot, but these carrots are quite small, so I'm going to do two carrots. Remember the three S's, guys, to share out. If you're not subscribed, give me a, give me a subscribe or subscribe to my channel. I like to say it is a channel, isn't it? And um, if you really like to, you can sponsor the broadcast, but I'm not a massive fan of sponsoring, to be honest with you. Um, as I say, if you have you have coins, you can give them to your favourite broadcasters. If you wish to give them to me, just like Blaine has, then that would be fantastic. It shows you that you support my channel in that way. And... Um, I said something earlier on today about it as well, about um, it shows to them that you support them, and they might you might they might subscribe you back to they might subscribe to you then as well. I don't know if I need to use. I'm going to use another carrot. Let's use this other one. So I'm just doing the carrot, everybody. If you're wondering what I'm doing. I have to put the grill on now because I'm going to be ready soon to do the to do these uh, sloppy joes. Get the uh, oven nicely warmed up. I think that's enough. I don't need loads more than that. Okay, so that's the carrot. Get all that off. Let's give this a stir. I'd never heard of a sloppy joe before I started doing this with HelloFresh. It was called completely new to me. I thought it was a pizza, believe it or not. I've heard of a sloppy joe pizza, but I've never actually made proper sloppy joes, which is what these are. Okay. So again, 240 grams of beef mince. We've got the carrot. Maybe you don't have carrots in yours, I'm not sure. So, um, so once it's brown, we're going to add the carrot to the mince, and then we're going to add some Central American spice mix. Now, it says one small pot. Now, I can't remember how much that was. So I think a small pot is usually around about one tablespoon, maybe, of spice. I don't want to add any more than a tablespoon, I don't think. because It's definitely more than a teaspoon. It might be two, two or three teaspoons.
Now, I made a spaghetti bolognese on, was it on Friday? And um, I used pork mince instead, and it was really nice. So that's the reason why I thought I'll use the beef mince, which you meant to use anyway for sloppy joes. But as I said, this is a HelloFresh recipe, so if you're wondering whose recipe this is, that's who it belongs to. So we're just going to wait until this is nicely browned. Now, as I say, we're using Cajun spices. Now, this has got a lot of different spices in it. It has chilli powder, cumin, salt, garlic, smoked paprika, cayenne pepper. It could be quite spicy because I don't want to add any more than a tablespoon to this it might be a slightly different take. I do have some other spices, but this is a more premium brand, I think. This is a, it's called Swats. So I'm guessing it will be, it'll have more of the spice in there, of the different spices. Okay, so this is now brown. We're going to add in, we're going to add in the carrot. Okay, so Let's add in the carrot. I think we can't even see this, can you guys? Let me move the camera slightly. We might have a little bit too much carrot there, but... Or are we good? Maybe we're good. I'm going to mix in the carrot. that big piece of carrot out there. Let me bring you up a little bit. That's a bit better. Let's add in this spice then. So I'm going to take I'm going to use a tablespoon, no more than so one tablespoon of this Cajun spice. That's the only thing I can think of that's similar to and then sort of American spice mix. I don't have too much. It's very, um, trying to think of the word. Very American smells here, flavors. I don't know how the connection is, guys. Is that any better? So we just cook it for two minutes. That smells really nice. I think that's better now. And then what we're going to do next is we're going to add chopped tomatoes. So you want one carton. Now I've got a can here. I've got 400 grams. So we're going to add in the tomatoes. Yeah, that's, I'm happy with that. If, if I can always make these another another time if I need any more spice. So let's add in the tomatoes. Get this uh, a lid open. Oops, just be careful. So then goes the tomatoes, and then we're going to add the ketchup. that in and the ketchup you need you just want one sachet so I guess I know about a little bit of ketchup in there kind of similar to um, like a tomato puree but the ketchup's got the sugar in Let's mix all that in oh yes this smells really good hi Dina all right don't worry <laughs> so because i couldn't find any american spice mix i've decided to use a smoky cajun seasoning but i'm only using one tablespoon of this so we've added the tomatoes in we've got the ketchup we're gonna add some salt and pepper next it smells really really good everyone so add the salt it's a sort of british way of a sloppy jar i think 
pinchy salt. Let's add some pepper. Oh, by the way, I forgot to show you guys. Look what I bought today. I bought a spaghetti spoon. Look at this. Do you know what I was saying about the spaghetti? And I wanted a spoon for it. So let's add some pepper. Let me put the grill on. That's what I meant to be doing, Ellie. It smells really nice. Is this the way you would make it? How would how would you make yours, Dean? Or anybody else who's watching in the United States? Just put the grill on. I think last time I got a smoke. <laughs> I remember the grill was um, smoking a bit because of the. I've not had it on for a while. So it says there: season with salt and pepper, simmer until it's thick and tomatoey. Add a splash of water if the beef mixture is making it a little dry. So I'm going to add a little bit of water in this, but I did add a full a full can of. You put in a ready-made sauce. Okay, so this is like really fresh then. It smells so good. Mmm. <laughs> keep gonna check the oven in case it smokes up because I don't want that to happen. Open a window a bit. I should do the cheese. What 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 spice does what spice do you use in your sloppy joe, Dina? Now we're gonna do some cheese. Let me get some cheese out. There's my So we have the cheese. Let's give this a stir. Don't burn the meat. No, no try not to. I'll turn it down a little bit. It smells really nice. So we've got some uh, cheese. This is at British Extra Mature. And you want one block of cheese. <laughs> I guess we're using quite a lot. I'm not using the whole block of cheese. It'll be a small block, but that would have been part of Hello Fresh. So I think it was quite a small amount. Well, who loves cheese? Thanks, Dina, for the high five award. High five. I'm going to grate this up. And then we're going to make the guacamole. Oh, yeah. So let me put this on a plate. I'm going to grate some of the cheese up. It's on a low heat now, this, so it's just simmering there. Should I add a bit of water to it? I might add a bit of water to it. But it's only a few minutes it needs. I'm just going to grab my, well, my graters here. Rinse that with the carrots I was using earlier. Okay, as I said, don't forget, I will be back on tomorrow because I'm going to be making tomorrow chicken, roast chicken with, um, I think it's like a spring onion mash. It was the dish that I did. It was a duck dish that I made with bok choy. But I'm swapping the duck for chicken. So that's what we're doing tomorrow. Thursday, I'm doing Japanese steak, simply cook. And then on Friday, we have the quiz in the morning. So very, very busy week on hats. Use water from the pasta. Which pasta, Dina? Not having pasta. It's this Sloppy Joe's. 
We're not doing bolognese, we're doing sloppy joes. Nearly frightened me then. Hello Mike, how are you doing? We're just doing the cheese. Yeah, we're not doing bolognese. It's kind of similar though, isn't it, to bolognese? Okay, I think that's nearly ready, you know. Just watching some birds outside. So um, preheat the grill to high, coarsely grate the cream cheese. We've done that. Half the ciabattas horizontally and place the ciabattas on a baking tray cut side up. Once the beef is cooked, divide it in between. Sprinkle over the grated cheese and place on the top shelf of your grill for four minutes. So let's get this ready then. It's probably because I showed you the um, spaghetti spoon. Yeah. Good sound and the picture but there's a huge lag. Okay, I'm going to bring you down now so you can see see this. So we've got our chibatas here. And we're going to I'm turn this off. And we're going to spoon each one of these onto our chibatas. You might think they're quite small. Maybe that's a lot. <laughs> Might be able to put a bit more meat on here. I'll spoon it on instead. Oh yes, look at this. And we're going to put the cheese on the top. How's that looking? What do we think, everybody? Probably completely different to how you guys make make it, but for us Brits who've never really tried sloppy joes before, this is definitely uh, one of my favourites. I might have had to add a bit more spice into it. I'm not sure what the exact spice was that I used last time. These are going to go under the grill. <laughs> You're probably saying how much meat? Keep going, keep going, let's get all that meat off. I'm yeah, we've got enough, we can put a bit more on. I think there's more on that last one. Oh yes. I'd make it a sandwich. I suppose it's, it's kind of like a, a Subway sandwich, isn't it, if you think about it. You know, the meat, there's like, a, is it like a meat mariana? Meat mariana sandwich subway. It sort of does remind me of that. Oh. Okay, so let me just move this off the side. Has the connection gone funny again? I don't have a lot of space. It'll be fine though, because it's switched off. So we're gonna add some cheese. Now on the top. You always want to sort of top it with the cheese. And then we're going to grill this. Oh, look at these, everyone. Oh, is it good? Thanks, Mike. More, I suppose it is like a little pizza, isn't it, though? It is like a pizza, an American pizza. I like them because they're so filling. Yes, put it on. Mm. Oh, it tastes amazing. Mm. That Caucasian spice is perfect. So I'm going to put these under the grill now, everybody. That's what, it look, that's what they look like. Hopefully you're seeing this good quality. Let's put these under the grill. And then they want to go in for about... Actually, I don't know how long they need to go on for. Gonna turn the heat up though a little bit. And let me just check. So this is how they should turn out. We need to do the guacamole next. So um, so 
we're going to slice the avocado lengthways. Let me put the light on. So we're going to slice lengthways the avocado. So slice lengthways the avocado. There you go, stone straight out. It seems to be stuck now to my knife. Push this off. There you go. I'm going to get a little bowl. That's your avocado. It is, isn't it? It is. It does seem. Move out of the way. And then what we're going to do is we're going to um, twist each half, pull it apart, remove the stone, scoop out the flesh into a bowl. So let's scoop this avocado into a bowl. Who loves avocado? Seems to be very popular at the moment, doesn't it? Avocado on toast. We're making our own guacamole. Okay, so that is our uh, avocado. Let's pop this. Let me just check how long it needs to go in. Oh, three to four minutes, it says in the oven. So I need to do that in about two minutes. And then add a squeeze of lime juice. Now I've got some lime from yesterday. So add a squeeze of lime with a drizzle of olive oil. Oh, we need to mash it up. Okay. We're going to add in our lime juice. My hands are all limey. <laughs> we want some olive oil. Fizzle um, of olive oil, yep. Yeah. So that's some olive oil. And then some salt and pepper. So again, the salt. Keep an eye on them with the cheese on. They should be all right then. Uh, and then we're going to mash it with a fork or a masher if you've got a masher. So let's mash this up. It's quite a nice soft avocado. I did take it out of the fridge. I think they're always better when you take them out of the fridge. What do we think, everybody? So that's how to make guacamole. These are going to go on the top of the. Uh... Oh, it's quite easy actually to make. Just make sure it's nice and smooth. I think the uh... floppy joes are ready, but I do like them nice and crispy. So that is our guacamole, everyone. Mm, smells really nice. So that's turned off, that's good. Um, you can add a bit more lime if you need. Let me have a little taste. So cheers, everybody. Oh, a bit more lime. <laughs> I only used half the lime. Use a full lime if you can. But it's nice, really nice. Mix all this up. Love, love. Oh, that's not. Mmm. That is delicious. That is really nice. Well, let me check on the. I'm going to check on the sloppy joes. They might need a little bit longer because I want them to be crispy. 
I think what I might have done last time is I put them in the oven instead of just grilling them. And they turned out okay. Use your citrus press. I don't have a citrus press. <laughs> like, remember, I can't get any Pamper Chef's. I can't get the Pamper Chef stuff because they don't ship to the UK. Mm, that is really nice. Mmm. I'm going to turn the heat up on the grill because it might take a little bit longer. So let me run through the ingredients, everybody, before we start. Hello, Molly. Lovely to see you. Uh, it's half past five here at the moment. So we're doing sloppy joes. Mm. The grill is on. So that they are actually uh, under the grill at the moment with the cheese. We've done the guacamole. So just a rundown, if you want to make this yourself at home, you will need... Beef mince, 240 grams. Uh, one carrot or two, depending on how big they are. And you want to grate them. Some American spice. As I say, I'm using, I use the Cajun seasoning. Or oh, you might have something similar. Chopped tomatoes. Uh, wasn't able to get onto haps. Do you mean it wasn't working on haps? Or do you mean your app, the app wasn't working? Or the broadcast wasn't working? How do you mean? Uh, we had to do some ketchup. Uh, we've got we added some cheese on the top, and then ciabatta, uh, the avocado, and some lime. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened. I mean, there's a lot of new people coming on to Haps, and I don't know if it's slowing down the servers, or it might have an issue with the app. Check your internet connection or anything. I'm not sure, but uh, and then we made guacamole with the lime and the avocado. So as I said, if you want Hello Fresh, get your forty dollars off. Links in the bio, links in the link tree. If you're in the UK, get £20 off. Again, the link is in the link tree. So it's that simple, guys, if you want to give this a try. Or go and buy the ingredients. The app doesn't seem to be working. Okay. Thanks for letting me know, Molly, though, because I wondered where, where a lot of people were. So that could be why. Um, but I think it's probably because a lot of new people are coming on, so there's more people using the app. They might have a certain amount of people that can access the app, but they need to... Maybe the servers are not working too well. And Mike said there's a bit of a delay in there as well on, on HAPS. So I think there might be a few technical issues tonight. So it's always typical when I'm doing a favourite dish. <laughs> that always, it always happens like that. So does anybody have any questions at all uh, before I take these out of the grill? I might put the oven on, actually, instead of grilling them. I think I put them in the, in the oven last time and they crisped up better rather than grilling them. So I'm going to put turn it round here, because they just take forever, forever otherwise. If you've got a really good grill, then that's fine. Let me just check. Oh, actually, they're not too bad. They're not too bad. A little bit longer. I like them quite brown. So I think it takes a good, like, 20 minutes for your grill to warm up. Uh, was I an early man? I was, yes. I came on twice, I think. I came on this morning. I was on this morning. I was on Haps and then I was on Periscope this afternoon uh, twice. Uh, don't forget Chili Bean is on tonight at 9pm UK time, which is 5pm Eastern time. So on Periscope, because uh, Jimmy plays the piano, I always invite people in. So go on to your Periscope at 5pm tonight and come in and watch the broadcast. Um, super, super talented piano player very good um, I don't think there's anything else to tell you I wonder how sloppy Joe got there and do you know I think Alexis told me this but I completely forgot I don't know if it was because somebody called Joe was eating the food and they just decided to call it a sloppy Joe I have no idea um, so they are crisping up I don't know I want it to go a little bit brown but like it's like on the picture but the ciabatta was actually baked so this was a ciabatta that you actually baked at home so it's already been cooked now they say don't reheat it but it wasn't brown so you know like extra cooked that makes any sense to anyone let me just check on these they are looking really nice oh yeah i'm just gonna give it a a little bit longer. Actually, they're not too bad. Yeah, they're not too bad. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to show you one of them. I don't think the grill's getting hot, but this is one of them. Look, 
So it's just with the melted cheese on, but if you want them, I want them really crispy and they're not as crispy yet. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to put on the oven or maybe I just left them longer last time. And close it up. Because I have to have the oven door open. Hello, Jay. How are you doing? So we're doing sloppy joes. <laughs> we're doing sloppy jays. <laughs> So we've done the recipe, we're just waiting for them to, to come out of the grill, which usually takes a couple of minutes. Well, it usually takes longer because my grill takes forever to warm up. So um, again, if you want the recipe, here's the recipe, it's HelloFresh. This is how they should turn out. We've made our own guacamole. I need some tunes on in the background, don't I? Here's the guacamole, everyone, which is absolutely delicious, by the way. Uh, Jay, are you having any issues at all with hats today? Are you having any issues? A few people are reporting issues with the app. Some of them not being able to get onto the app. Um, so but we'll probably get an update. Is it? It'll be on Thursday. We're going to the Q&A. I think Thursday is the Q&A. I usually come on. I'm usually going randomly. I either watch the replay or I sometimes catch the end of the Q&A. Um, so, yeah. I'm just waiting for that and then it'll be ready. Um, as I say, tomorrow I'll be on. I'm doing chicken tomorrow with spring onion mash. Let me actually get the recipe out. Tomorrow. Yeah. So while they're, while they're still grilling. So tomorrow we're doing this one. So again, it's another HelloFresh recipe. But instead of using duck, instead of using duck, we're going to use chicken. And it involves, so you, you could actually do this if you've got the ingredients tomorrow. You could do this. You'd need chicken, a potato, a garlic clove. Uh, there was an update on iOS, but I think it, my phone also automatically updated it. So, yes, you probably should update. Um, you bought some coins last night and they haven't been added yet, but I reported it. Okay. Maybe they'll, 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 if you send an email, you've sent an email, okay, be, don't just report it, send an email as well to, I can't remember, isn't it? it'll be pablo at haps.tv, I think, or P, I don't know if it's Peter, yeah, it will be Peter, but P Bittner, B-I-T-T-N-E-R at haps.tv, send an email, they'll, they'll find it, but the problem they're getting so many emails they're gonna to have to start looking at having extra members on their team i think if they can't cope they should have the, the correct amount of people anyway but we're doing this one we're doing this one <laughs> sorry everybody so this is what we're doing tomorrow um so you'll need as i say potato garlic clove bok choy if you've got any plums or some sort of fruit you can have with it uh, spring onion also known as a scallion chicken breast chicken stock powder and some hoisin sauce and that's what we're going to do tomorrow um so yeah they'll, they'll sort it out things things get sorted out but i know it can be just frustrating when things happen and you're like you know when you might be going through your normal day and everything's working fine and it's sort of like this happens but you know it's sort of like sometimes when these things happen it, it kind of makes sense for it to happen early than later on because otherwise then you think, oh, I don't want to use haps anymore. So, uh, but I think it'll be fine. Once it gets better, it'll be, it'll be all right. So, well, let's check on these now if they've gone a bit more brown. Let me move this out of the way. I see the grill has been on a long time, hasn't it? If you've got a grill and you're doing these yourself, it'll probably take less time. It depends on how hot your oven is. But, uh, They're not as brown as I, as I thought they would be. So they're not as brown, but that's what they look like. I'm going to put them back in the oven and end the broadcast, guys, because they're going to, I'm going to give, put them in the oven for about another 10 minutes and they should really go nice and brown. So I'm going to end the broadcast. Remember, go and get the discount if you want the discount. Let me change my grill over. Put it on oven mode. And I'm going to bake these for an, for an extra 10 minutes. 
I'm going to end the broadcast. So thanks for watching, everybody. And I'll see you all soon. And I'll see you tomorrow. All right, guys.